Hello students, Michael Sanchez here with Jen. Hello. In the last video, me and Jen were talking about the Dario Giovanni violin, which is an instrument that she purchased a year ago and loves it. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to also talk about her bow, which is also a very important part of choosing an instrument and just an overall sound. So Jen, uh, tell us your experience with, um, you know, we chose the violin and then um, I told you about the bow being an important thing. Tell us about your experience with that. Well, I first tried out a um, couple of the carbon fibers, um, not real cheap, but I wanted to try and stay as low as I could uh, financially. But uh, I noticed that the violin pretty much picks your bow. You don't really get a part in it. The violin <laughs> does it. Um, and I found a couple that sounded pretty good. And then he said, here, try this one. And the difference was phenomenal. I was flabbergasted. The sound was brought out so much better and I was amazed at the difference. Most students that I have that um, are interested in the violin purchasing process, you know, improving their sound, you know, they've been playing for a while and they, you know, they, they're interested in an instrument or bow. Every single one of them have been like, oh my gosh, I can't afford the Pernambuco bow, that's way too much, like what, what can a bow do, you know? Mm -hmm. And by the time, you know, they've played three notes, they're like, oh my gosh, you know, they can't believe it. Because a bow really is 50% of a violin sound or an overall sound has to do with the bow. You wouldn't think so because obviously this is much bigger than this, right? Like what can this do? But I'm telling you and do some research on it. Um, you know, a, a violinist breath, they call it, the breath of the violinist comes from his bow. Mm -hmm. You know, so any violinist can eventually put down fingers in the right spots. I know some of you maybe are really working on this, and I am too actually at, you know, certain pieces. <laughs> but really what makes the violin is sound different from another violinist is his bow, is his breath. Mm -hmm. Because everybody does this, this differently. But if you have a stick that's really stiff, like the carbon fibers, like the Brazil woods, like the fiberglass, mm -hmm. it doesn't dig into the strings as well. It's not as flexible. You know, so when you're doing certain passages, it just doesn't sound as good. So I think, Jen, I had you do like a piece and you played and it was like a huge difference, you know, just mm -hmm. the cleanliness of the tone. Yep. So I'm going to show you guys a, a comparison here using Jen's bow and I'm going to compare it to a carbon fiber bow. And carbon fiber is not bad, so don't, I'm not trying to dog dark carbon fiber. It's just not what my violin liked. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing now. Just notice the cleanliness of the sound with, with the Pernambuco. So, Jen, can you tell the difference? Yes. Yep. So, and what I just played was... Uh, you know, carbon fiber compared to the Pierre Martin, the uh, Pernambuco bow. But like a lot of you guys probably have Brazil woods or fiberglass. Like if you get a, a standard student outfit like online or whatever, and it's never going to come with a really great bow. So I actually was comparing it to a decent bow. But um, please watch one of my videos on my Superior Violin site. I compared like a really bad bow to a Pierre Martin bow and it was like a huge difference. Um, but, you know, obviously the thing is, you know, not until you actually play it can you tell the difference. But, you know, if you don't take my word for it and don't want to at least try it out, you know, I highly recommend you go to a shop and you try out a Pernambuco bow because it's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. So, yep. anything else, Jen, you want to add? Uh, your experience or just, um, you know, what it does to your sound or anything like that? Um, definitely if you can, try different bows to find out the best one that works the best with your violin, um, the sound, you want to get the best sound you can because it just makes playing much more pleasurable. Um, if you're constantly getting bad sound, then you don't want to practice. So definitely go for the best sound you can. A lot of characteristics of like, you know, um, a stiffer bow, like a fiberglass bow, 
is that you're gonna have trouble crossing strings. So if you guys are like, you know, been playing and hey, my, my bow bounces, my bow screeches when I cross strings, a lot of that doesn't necessarily have to do with you. It has to do just with the bow. It's just a stiff piece of wood, you know, or not a piece of wood, plastic. Plastic. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I highly recommend, you know, if you guys aren't, you know, feeling good about the online thing, please go to your local store. I'm telling you, it'll make a huge difference. So, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.